What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted. A little bit of background on me and what we do on this podcast. Been doing music for about 10 years now, rapper and music producer. And on this podcast, we do a brand new audio episode every single day and a new video episode four times a week, Monday through Thursday. We talk tips, tricks for musicians, mindset, marketing, music production stuff, and it's also documenting my journey as an independent musician. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about Facebook ads for musicians. Now, we aren't gonna do an extreme deep dive into Facebook ads. This is more for if you've never used Facebook ads, you don't really know why you would use Facebook ads, and you don't know how Facebook ads can be implemented into your strategy as a musician. So, first thing you gotta do, you can't run Facebook ads if you have a personal profile. That's a personal profile. You need a business page. I'm not gonna get into how to make a business page. It's pretty simple and easy and you can go find other deep dive screen recording YouTube videos on that. I'm gonna talk more strategy, right? So, first thing, what you need to be able to understand with Facebook ads, you gotta know your objective for your Facebook ad, okay? And there's also different levels to the actual ad itself. So there's three levels. The first level is the campaign itself, okay? So you have the campaign, which is the overall, you know, you can think of it like this, the campaign would be like the name of the show. Let's say you're doing a TV show. I'm not saying you were running ads on a TV show. I'm saying let's say you were making a TV show. Campaign would be the name of the show Okay, then the next thing is called the ad set. Now the ad set, the ad set handles audiences. So ad set is audiences, like the people. Right, and then the last thing you've got is the ad. And the ad itself is the visual. So picture, video, whatever it is, right? So the campaign is where you set your objective. Right, campaign is where you set your objective. So, so let's start with your objective. What is your objective? Now here's how Facebook ads work. Okay, like every other social media platform, Facebook wants people to stay on Facebook for longer periods of time. And I mean, they're counting that down to the second, right? So when your objective is related to keeping people on Facebook, you will get cheaper, you'll get cheaper conversions, which we like more for, you know, you'll get your results at a lower cost. If you're trying to earn money though, you can't sell things on Facebook. I mean, they have that whole Facebook marketplace, but that's not what we're talking about. You're trying to get people off of Facebook. Totally fine. Facebook will help you do that. There are objectives for that, but you got to pay a little bit more money. Okay. So I'm not going to say every single objective. I'm just going to say the three objectives that you're probably going to use as a musician. Number one, video views. Now, what are video views, right? Obvious, it's video views, but it's not a YouTube video. It's not like you can throw a YouTube video and be like, get me video views. It needs to be a video uploaded into Facebook as a Facebook video. Then you run a video views campaign, okay? Obviously, you should be starting to think music video, behind the scenes videos, interviews, whatever other video stuff you have, that's where you're gonna have a video views. Now. You'll get very cheap conversions for these because you're just trying to get people to stay on Facebook. Facebook likes that. Okay, we have two more that we're gonna show. And they're sort of similar. The next one is traffic, and the third is conversions. Okay, traffic and conversions. Now, what does that mean? So, traffic, so, Let's say you have a link on your Facebook ad, okay? 
and the link, let's say it's a Spotify link, which you already know how much I disagree with it, but let's just say that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get people to the Spotify link. Let's say you get a Spotify link and you want to get traffic. All that means is you're telling Facebook, hey, Facebook, show this to as many people that you can that are just going to click on the link. Conversions is Facebook, show this to people who are not only going to click the link, but wait for the page to load and take an action on that page. So this is in order of cheapest to most expensive. Video views is cheap. You keep people on Facebook. Traffic is more expensive than video views, but cheaper than conversions. It's just click. Like if somebody clicks on your link, the page loads and they go, ah, screw it. And they close out of the page. You get charged for that because they click the link. Do we want that? No. What's the point of that? We want conversions. Conversions are click on the page, wait for the page to load, actually do something on the page. Got it? So that's, and it totally depends on what we want to do now. Um, I'll tell, I've ran all three of these. Okay. Dep it depends on what you want to do. If you're running ads for a music video and you're like, I just want to get as many video views as I possibly can. Obviously you run video views, but if you're trying to get people to like opt into your email list, I got to go with conversions is my, is my favorite one. And when I spoke to Legion beats, Legion Gabe, who's built two different million dollar businesses selling beats online. He's like, yeah, I don't really use traffic. I use conversion campaigns. Traffic campaigns don't work well. He's right. Cause I've done traffic too. They do not work well. Okay. So I would recommend going with the conversions campaign personally, depending on what you're trying to do. All right. Next you have the ad set. It's simple. Ad set just means audiences. Okay. So each individual ad set is going to be a different audience. So I'll give you an example. I'm an artist, right? So when I push a music video, I'm doing ad sets that are including people and building ad sets is not as easy as it sounds, but this is kind of where you do your demographic, the age, gender. Yeah, I'll show you right here, right? Age, gender, right? Location. And the biggest one, interests. Interest is the big one because this is where you get to target people who like certain things. So I'll give you like as an artist, like you got to think, all right, who do I sound like? So for me personally, I just know that like here are the artists that their fans would like me. Machine Gun Kelly, g Easy, Post Malone, Logic, Hoodie Allen, Mike Studd, I literally, Lil Dicky, like I just named all the white rappers I could possibly think about. And I know Logic's half black, half white, but a lot of people think he's white. Point is, you guys see, I, but look at me, white rapper. So all those make sense. And by the way, that's not me guessing. That's me spending thousands of dollars on Facebook ads and seeing what actually works. Those are the people that tend to like my videos the most. Just being honest. Sometimes Big Sean fans are, are into me too. Um, yeah, but it's mostly those people, right? So that's where you're going to go with interests. As a producer, I, I'm a music producer. So when I'm trying to get rappers to buy beats, you can actually type in on the interests rap or rapper. And there's actually people who put rapper in their job title on their Facebook profile. So you can target those people. You can target people who like freestyle rap. You can target people who like underground hip hop. There's all these different types of things you can go experiment with. And that's how you would do your interests. Now, I just mentioned as an artist, I'll just name three of the artists that, you know, um, Machine Gun Kelly, Logic, and G-Eazy. All three of those people have huge audiences. So I wouldn't put all three of them into one ad set. Those would be three different ad sets. In each one of those ad sets, like Machine Gun Kelly, he'd have his own ad set and then I'd have all the similar artists that are like Machine Gun Kelly who have smaller audiences. Okay? Totally depending on your what you're trying to do, but this is the recommendation I've gotten. All right, I'm going to erase this really quick. What you want is you want your audience size. Again, it totally depends on what you're trying to do, but generally you want your ad sets to be between 500 K and 2 million. That's how big you want your ad sets to get. If they're smaller than 500 K, 
boost that thing up. If they're too big, it's too broad. That's not gonna that's not gonna work out for you very well, right? So this is kind of where you want to sit. But that's ad sets, right? Now, generally, if you, I mean, you got to try to run as many ad sets as you can. And like, I know you're on a lean budget, so chances are you're not gonna be spending a whole lot of money. You're probably gonna be spending, I don't know, five, probably five bucks a day, right? By the way, I'm gonna, I, wanna, I wanna stop, stump this myth. When people say you can get started with Facebook ads as little as $5 a day, you know what they mean? They're talking about $5 per ad set. Okay, so let me break that down for you. So let's say you have 10 ad, let's say you have four ad sets running. Okay, I'm just gonna do AS number one. I'm just gonna do AS one for ad set. AS one, AS two, right? AS three, right? And AS number four. Five dollars a day means five dollars for each one of these. So that means five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. That's $20 a day. So when people say $5 a day, just remember that they're not really giving you the truth. You're not gonna get great Facebook results for $5 a day, okay? Just so you know, like you're not. $5 per ad set per day, and you have tons of ad sets running. Okay, cool, now we've got some, now we like might be talking. You know what I mean? There, just so you know, in your exact category, there are people spending hundreds or thousands of dollars a day on, 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 uh, on ads, just so you know. Producers especially. So when you, oh, you just do $5 a day, it's like, yeah, good luck. Like you're gonna do a little couple of things here and there, $5 a day, trust me, you're not gonna get a lot. So don't, don't, don't think that, oh, I can just get, you can learn for really cheap. If you really only wanna spend $5 just to kind of test the waters, that's cool. But, and now I'm getting into this whole other topic of like budgeting your money. But here's the fact of the matter. This is a numbers game, okay? It's sales. It's marketing. And so you need a ginormous pool of people to even to even to test to see if what you're doing is the right thing. That's what's so scary about Facebook ads and why you really need to spend thousands of dollars because you're not even going to know what works. And like if you're a beginner, you're you you're not going to know, like you're not going to knock it out of the park on your first Facebook ad campaign. Like that's just ridiculous to even think that you can do that. You're not. You know what I mean? I mean, if you have a knockout music video, and, and, and you're spending the right money, you'll probably get a lot of views. But for music producers, I've talked to a lot of music producers like, yeah, I've tried paid ads, they don't work for me. How much did you spend? Spent about a hundred bucks. It's like, bro, it didn't work for me till I spent $2,000. Then I was like, oh, okay, now I get it. Like I've spent, I've spent probably five, $6,000 total, but when I spent 2,000 on just my producer funnel, that's when I was like, okay, now I get Facebook ads for this. Does that make sense? And 10 iterations of my funnel. Getting very complicated, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the point is, just you gotta be realistic. And this is where the money happens, is the ad sets. That's where you start thinking about, how do I spend my money? Does that make sense? Um, I could go so granular into Facebook advertising, I'm not going to, but for right now, I think you've got a pretty good understanding. Now, you might be thinking, well, how many ad sets should I be running? Like, should I run four ad sets? Yeah, more than one is good. Like, don't run one ad set. You should... I mean, I personally think you should run as many as you can. So what you can do is you run, I would say start with 10 to 15. 10 to 15 ad sets after and spend $5 on all of those 10 ad sets. After the first day, you look at your statistics. That's another video that's definitely a screen recording. But you look at your statistics and you're like, well, which ad set performed the best? Take the top three, kill the other ones, run ads to the top three and just keep killing. Now you have three keep killing them until you have one ad set that's killing it and then just spend money on that. You gotta have to, you kinda have to like whittle down, you know what I'm saying? You have to kinda whittle down like what you're doing. That's kinda how Facebook ads with the ad sets part works. It's pretty basic actually. And you might be like, like what am I doing? I'm like, ah, my mind just exploded. And like, this is base, this is the basic stuff. So, um, and then this is really simple. The ad is the visual, a photo or video. Now, you gotta, now, there's a bunch of different ways to do this, but a lot of people have recommended to me, and I agree, you make a post first. So, what does that mean? So that means that don't, let's say you have your music video, okay? 
and you're like, okay, I have my music video. Should I upload my music video to my Facebook business page as, as a post and run ads to it? Or do I not do that? Do I, do I um, go into my ads manager and upload it as an ad? That's not what you wanna do. You wanna make it a post first. The reason is because when you make it a post, what you do is you make it a post, okay? Send it to a ton of your friends and just be like, yo, if you could just do me a quick favor, just like and throw a comment on here, maybe share it. Just give it some numbers first so that when I run ads to it, it looks like it already has some traction. Cause you're gonna run ads to it and if it has nothing, people are gonna be like, that's weird. Like, why does this have nothing on it? It's not valuable. When people see something that's got 10,000, 100,000 views and hell of like engagement, they're more likely to like look at it and pay attention. So get some, no pressure, but just get some social proof on it. You're not gonna do that unless you make it a post. All right, so I'm gonna talk about one other concept. Uh, I'll talk about one other concept, okay? The one other concept is called retargeting. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna erase the title. I wanna keep this up though. We're gonna keep this little chart. The next concept is retargeting. I'm just say retarget. So what does retargeting mean? So you've got your first campaign, right? And let's, let's go ahead and say it's video views. I'm just gonna write right here. I'm gonna have a little square. Let's say you have a video view campaign. I'm just gonna put VV. All right, I'm gonna put VV right here. So you have your video views campaign, you know, you ran some uh, $200 to it. Here, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say you did that, $200 to your video views campaign. Now, the next thing you wanna do is like, all right, I wanna get people on my email list. How do I do that? You run a retargeting campaign. Now what you'll do this is gonna be a conversions campaign. And what are you trying to get people to do? Sign up for your email list. Does that make sense? But what are you retargeting exactly? You are basically taking every single person who watched this music video and showing them this ad. What? You can do that? Yeah, you can. That's what's so cool about Facebook. In fact, not only can you do that, you can take people who have watched specific percentages of the video. This is what's really cool. So I believe the breakdown is 25%, 25, 50, 75, 95. How cool is that? You can literally take people who have watched separate percentages of your video and retarget those people. If you've got a really cheap budget, like $200, like $200 is very cheap. I would just go ahead and retarget everybody, to be honest with you. But if you're running more, maybe $500 or $1,000 to a video views campaign, I would personally just go with 50% and up. I'd go with 50% and up. Right? Because think about it. Somebody watches 95% of your video, they're much more likely to convert than someone who watched 25%. Does that make sense? Um, you know, so let's see if there's any, I, I, I would say, um, and yeah, you only run conversions, can, and you only would run this to people who watch your music video. That makes sense? And they're warm. They're a warm audience. If you just ran conversions to a cold audience, they're probably not gonna convert, right? That's kind of the way it works when you're a musician. Nobody wants to sign up for your email list, but if they know you and they like you and they're like, oh yeah, I saw that person's music video, that was super dope. Now you're like getting somewhere. As a music producer, personally, I, I don't do that. As a music producer, what I do is I, oops. As a music producer, what I do is I go straight conversions. And I go, hey, do you want 15 free beats? Click this link below and go download 15 free beats for me. That's a conversions campaign. And, I'm just, and I just go. For me, it yields really good results. Why? What's the difference? The difference is when you're an artist and you're trying to push music or you're a musician or you're a band and you're trying to push music, you really need to get real with yourself and think this is not valuable. Nobody needs this. Nobody cares about this at all. They aren't going to really get anything out of me. 
There's billions of songs out there. We've already got Spotify and Apple Music and I'm paying $10 a month for like unlimited music. Why do they need me specifically? They don't. But that's why you have to, what is the value based on? The value of you as a musician is completely based on, do they like me? That's the only reason they're gonna sign up for your email list if they actually like you. As a producer, dude, they don't need to like you to take your 15 free beats. Rappers are gonna look and be like, I'll take 15 free beats. And that's how I, I'm able to convert at 87% on my landing page. That's how I'm able to stay break even with my funnel for over a month. Because I have this offer that's valuable that you don't need to know me or like me at all as a rapper to be like, damn, I could take 15 free beats. That'd be dope. So that has a lot to, and I know that that's sort of unrelated to Facebook ads, but it actually has a lot to do with like what you should be doing on your campaigns. Does that make sense? So look, here's the deal. This was a lot. This was a very, this actually was a pretty deep dive. If you really, you know what's funny about this? You might be like, oh my God, this was insane. This was not a deep dive. This was basic. This was very basic. This was surface level. If you want to deep dive and learn how you can implement Facebook ads into your strategy, whether you're a musician or a producer, all you got to do is book a 15 minute call and I'll show you. I'll do a whole screen recording with you. I'll sit down with you. We could work together for a month if you'd like or even less time and I can guarantee we'll get your first Facebook ads campaign set up and we can get you results. It's not hard to get results on Facebook if you know what you're doing. But Here's what you can do. I was on the phone with somebody the other day. I'm going to be honest with you. I was on the phone with somebody the other day and I pitched them the coaching package and they said, you know what? I don't really have the money for this right now. But they were already spending money on Facebook ads. I was like, why don't you have the money? They're like, well, I need to spend that money on Facebook. I go, have you ever spent money on Facebook? They go, no. I'm like, so you're going to take that money and spend it on Facebook and you're not going to get results. You have no idea how to use Facebook ads. The guy's like, yeah, it's true. I'm like, dude, if you gave, if you, if you work with me, we are going to get you results because I'm going to actually show you how to use Facebook ads. Would you rather person A never spent a dime with Facebook ads or person B spends, has spent five, six, seven thousand dollars on Facebook ads and actually got results and revenue and profit? Where would you rather spend? Like Facebook doesn't care about you at all. They just want money. I'm actually here giving you specialized help trying to get you to guarantee yourself results. The only way I say trying to is because I can't really guarantee you results. I'm just going to be here to coach you and guide you. You have to be the one to put the work in. You got to be the one to spend the money on your ads. All right. So if you want to really get down and dirty with me and let me help you show you how you can implement Facebook advertising into, by the way, Facebook and Instagram is the same. If you're like, well, I want to run Instagram ads. It's the, literally the exact same Facebook owns Instagram. It's the same platform. You just literally click a checkbox that says Instagram rather than Facebook, so it's not different, okay? So if you wanna do that, book, uh, click below, book a 15 minute call, and if you got any value out of this video or this podcast, and you're on YouTube right now, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification right there, and if you're listening to the audio version of this, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to this podcast, and share it with a friend, because I guarantee you know another musician who needs to hear this stuff, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Music Mastery Podcast, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace!